Good morning. My name is Antonique Ellis, and I currently hold the title of Miss College of Education. I, along with Stephen Moore, Mr. College of Education, will serve as the host for today's Apple Society induction ceremony. Welcome to the College of Education's Spring 2021 Apple Society induction ceremony. Today's ceremony is especially important as it represents the College of Education's dedication to our students in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. The virtual presentation of the ceremony is our innovative approach to welcoming our graduates to the one of the greatest professions in the world. I am delighted to greet each of you on behalf of Dean Watson, as well as the faculty, staff, and students in the College of Education. The Apple Society induction ceremony is our way of acknowledging all majors for their achievements and wishing them success as they embark upon their challenging journey in the teaching, leading, and counseling professions. The red apple is the symbol associated with the teaching profession in the United States of America. It is from this symbol that we have named our ceremony. To all parents, relatives, and friends of our graduates, I extend a heartfelt welcome to you. I am sure I express my sentiments when I say that we are extremely proud of these young women and men who have decided to enter these noble professions. And now, greetings from Provost Eddington, followed by Dr. Watson, Dean of College of, Edu of Education. Hello, class of 2021 College of Education graduates. I am Maurice Eddington, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, and I am pleased to celebrate your success as you participate in the College of Education's Apple Pinning Ceremony. I want to thank Dean Watson and her team for inviting me to share this great achievement with you. I know your journey to this point has not been without some challenges, and I appreciate your commitment and the sacrifices you have made to achieve your goals. We all know that every society is built on education, and as we continue to navigate this lingering pandemic, we must also continue to uplift those who have been called to serve as educators. Communities in Florida and across the nation will benefit from the dedication, hard work, and exhaustive hours our family educators have put in, and our world would be limited without the efforts of highly skilled teachers and education advocates. Your work is indeed invaluable. FAMU's illustrious alumna, Althea Gibson, is credited as saying, no matter what accomplishment you achieve, someone helped you. Thank you for allowing FAMU to help you achieve your goals. I urge you to pay it forward and be the bridge that allows someone else to realize their dreams. On behalf of President Larry Robinson and the FAMU Board of Trustees, I congratulate you, applaud your efforts, and I am proud you are joining the field of education. Congratulations. Thank you, Provost Eddington, Ms. Ellis, and Mr. Moore, and good morning, outstanding graduating scholars. I want to personally greet you as the Dean of the College of Education and welcome your family and friends. On behalf of the faculty and staff and your fellow students in the College of Education, we are so excited to celebrate you. The history of the apple pinning ceremony holds a rich and deep presence in the College of Education. The Apple Society is meaningful to our college and is essential as we send out new professionals and enhance our current graduate professionals. The inaugural Apple Pinning Ceremony was created by members of our own faculty in Secondary Education Technology Foundations and Educational Leadership, as well as our elementary education departments. The first ceremony was held under the breezeway of the College of Education in the Gore Educational Complex between the elevator and building C and we celebrated and I wish I was there at that time, but I can imagine that it was wonderful. This will probably be one of the final virtual ceremonies that we have in the College of Education. So even if we are in a virtual space, we celebrate you and you can look forward to later today uh, being in person at the commencement. Additionally, you can look forward to um, having it live streamed for your family and friends that cannot make it. When we had the first ceremony, we migrated to the Winterwood Theater for two years. And then finally, um, and, and probably more recently, before we brought it to the College of Education, we held it at Bethel AME Church until we returned into the Grand Ballroom and um, then now in the virtual space. 
To our esteemed members of the faculty, our amazing supportive staff, and those who are a part of this rich legacy, I want to thank you for being here today. Scholars, I want you to take the time to thank your parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, spouses, significant others, and friends who have encouraged you along the way. You are here because of your fortitude and their support. Ms. Abney Wisdom, thank you for being our speaker today and representing the College of Education, not only as a doctoral student, you are showing our undergraduate majors what it is to be lifelong learner and an educational leader. We are so proud that you will share your legacy of leadership and you will share your outlook on being an educational uh, leader of excellence. I wanna thank you all again for being here today and I turn it back over to Ms. Ellis. Thank you. We will now have a musical selection by Mr. Darian Bolden Jr. Thank you for that beautiful selection. I will now introduce our speaker. Ms. Shakira Abney Wisdom 
a New Jersey native, uses her 10 years of experience as an instructor, coach, leader in K-12 higher education settings, and public servant for local and state government agencies to illuminate the need for equity and advocacy. Her passion for innovative collaboration is grounded in the belief that we can accomplish more and go further together. Ms. Shakira Abney Wisdom is a Doctor of Philosophy candidate in the Educational Leadership Program at Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. She holds a Master of Arts degree in Curriculum and Instruction with a concentration in Urban Education through the Denver Teacher Residency Program and earned a Certificate in Educational Leadership and Policy Studies from the Ritchie Program for School Leaders. She was inducted into Alpha Kappa Mu Honor Society and served as a City of Tallahassee Mayoral Fellow in the Office of the Mayor. She is a Florida Gubernatorial Fellow at the Florida Department of Juvenile Justice and the Office of Youth and Family Advocacy and has presented her research at the International Education Development Conference in Bangkok, Thailand. Shakira is the founding principal of Robert F. Smith STEAM Academy, a high school in the Denver Public Schools District modeled after historically black colleges and universities with a focus on STEAM and project-based learning. She stresses the importance of ensuring each student is able to shine through a safe environment that is centered around mindfulness and blackness and normalizing differences through inclusion while utilizing an innovative and interdisciplinary focus. Ms. Shakira recognizes her mom as her most outstanding role model. She says, my mom taught me to do all things in excellence. She lives by example, modeling the importance of trusting yourself and holding firmly to what you believe. Shakira is honored every day to help and pour knowledge into students who look like her. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Shakira Abney Wisdom. Morning, and thank you so much for that introduction and uh... Thank you to the Dean of the College of Education, Dr. Watson, and the Associate Dean, Dr. Price, um, for extending the opportunity for me to participate in today's ceremony. Um, good morning to the, the staff and faculty of the College of Education, the University Administration, and the most important members of the audience today, the graduates of the class of 2021. It is truly an honor um, to, to speak um, and to share just some thoughts with you. Um, it is particularly special as um, a member of this graduating class and like a little sister to me. So congratulations, Mesa. I'm incredibly proud of you. Um, so as I uh, reflected on um, what to say today, um, I kept returning to this idea um, about what to carry with you, the stance to take that would truly allow you to meet each moment as it comes. Um, and it has always been true, but is particularly necessary in this moment in time um, that we need leaders to make a decision about the kind of influence they will make. Um, we need people to be committed. And so who was better than you, the graduates of the College of Education at Florida Agricultural Mechanical University um, to continue this legacy of championing those who have been silenced, uh, marginalized and mistreated with excellence and caring. And so in that spirit, there are five characteristics on which I'll encourage you to focus as you transition um, from this chapter to the next. Um, these five, which are necessary and truly encompass many more, are kindness, humility, truth, resilience, and purpose. So I'll begin with kindness. It's defined as an act of being friendly, generous, or considerate, or careful in thought. And that definition reminds me of the motto of our esteemed and beloved College of Love and Charity, um, Excellence with Caring. Um, and so I encourage you not to take for granted the love and consideration that has been poured into you throughout your time here. Um, the care that has been invested to ensure that you have the tools necessary to be successful with each phase of your journey and to excel. And so I ask that you hold on to that compassion that was extended to you, the grace and support you received, as well as the encouragement in moments of victory and in the moments of questioning. Internalize the mantra, work hard and be kind, because it doesn't matter how brilliant you are, how much expertise you have or who you know, if it is not possible for you to be kind. 
you are being tasked with leading, investing in and loving people, children, young adults and learners of all ages. And so kindness is truly the hallmark of an individual who desires the best for others and desires to unlock that best in others. So I encourage you to be kind. The next trait is humility. Um, C.S. Lewis said, humility is not thinking of yourself, less of yourself, it is thinking of yourself less. And so that statement illuminates humility's roots in self-awareness, confidence, and ability to remain teachable as we make room for others. The scariest and most powerful question I've learned to ask as a leader is, what do you think? And so true leaders take the opportunity to empower the people they lead to not only build capacity and grow, but to flourish in their purpose. It's our responsibility and our charge to model the ultimate strength that is required to make room for others, voices and their perspectives. Empowerment is a gift that we give our scholars, the teachers we coach, the communities we lead and impact, and it is a gift that requires us to be aware and accepting of our strengths, as well as the areas where we can develop. So empowerment requires a willingness to not always be in front when doing the work, rather a passion to be deeply involved in the work. Humility is a trait that recognizes we need other people to have a lasting impact and to build legacy. And in a field where interaction and connection with others is the exclusive way in which we have impact, the benefits of humility far outweigh the cost. I encourage you to be humble. Next is truth. One of my favorite quotes is, um, speak the truth, even if your voice shakes. And there is a simultaneous vulnerability and strength in speaking the truth. There is freedom and wisdom in truth. And our ability to see and articulate the way things truly are, not how we want them to be is imperative. With the shifts and changes being enacted into law at the state level, literally statutes that attempt to and have the power to erase the voice and impact of citizens within a moment where Black, Latinx, and Indigenous bodies and lives are being devalued, it becomes a responsibility to speak the truth in the spaces you serve, you teach, and you build community. No one benefits from our remaining silent to perpetuate the comfort of others or operate within their expectations, particularly of an oppressive system. Speak the truth and remember to undergird it with kindness and humility. The truth in, conjun in conjunction with love and the freedom to arrive at one's own perspective or opinion in the time it takes is powerful. Think of the individuals who have done that for you or how it would feel if someone had given you the space to grapple with arriving at your own conclusions without force or shame. It is important to remember the purpose of sharing truth with others. It is not to convince or have a stronger argument. We speak the truth to establish trust. The goal is not to win people over. The point is to deepen understanding of ourselves, of the people around us. Be clear about what you believe and speak it truthfully. The fourth is resilience. Nelson Mandela said, do not judge me by my success, judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. Life will bring many situations that are confusing, painful, or even unexpected. The enticing option is to sulk and complain, to engage others in conversation that will justify our entitlement and frustration. The inverse may also be true. After experiencing something particularly exciting, we may want to revel in that moment and not leave it. But instead, what we must do is feel our grief, our joy, our disappointment, our anger, our excitement, or even sadness. And in the truth of how we feel, we must find community that will remind us to be resilient. Trusted individuals who will encourage us to go beyond what we see and experience in the here and now as we journey to there, the places we were destined to be. You are being sent from the College of Education to challenge and teach, but also to restore people and communities. 
that will require a commitment to being resilient, self-aware, and emotionally healthy so you can meet each moment you face. In our resilience is a balance of malleability and power as our strength lies in our capacity to adapt to our environment and changes, even as we ourselves grow and change. No matter what life may bring, I encourage you to be resilient. The final element is purpose. What is the thing that you do when every space you enter without even trying? When you look back over your life or even your time at FAMU, what are the patterns that you can identify? What would you do if no one paid you? And what brings joy to your soul in a way you can't quite articulate? What influence will you have in the places and spaces you serve? My hope today for each graduate is that your impact would be far beyond what you could ever see in your lifetime. The world needs you and benefits when you are certain about what you contribute, how you make a space better. Maybe it's one student you diligently work with before and after school who goes on to create an invention that radically changes the way the world functions. They credit your investment as what empowered them to dream, to believe in themselves. Perhaps there's an area you have researched and decide to submit an article or proposal regarding a phenomenon with a perspective that addresses a gap in the literature. Your writing and research may serve as the catalyst for an innovation within the field from another scholar. Or you may decide to run a series of sports camps and offer high level athletic training and personal development. A participant might internalize every word you share and go on to become a professional athlete and use their platform to influence others as they were influenced by you. It may even be that the small group you facilitate creates a safe space for youth and adolescents to process their emotions and trauma they have experienced in a healthy way. They go on to create similar spaces and share the knowledge you invested in them with others. So while you may not have been an inventor or a professional athlete or renowned author, speaker, or researcher, your purpose had impact greater than you could ever imagine greater than you could ever see, greater than if you were to do it alone. Be willing to extend your gifts generously, be kind. Be ready to contribute your strengths and empower others to lead. Be humble, be honest at all times, particularly when it is necessary. Speak the truth, be aware and determined to grow in the face of obstacles, be resilient. Be unapologetically authentic to who you were created to be. Fulfill your purpose. Every space and place you enter will benefit when you bring those five things with you. We need more change agents who will be unapologetically authentic with a sound confidence in who they are. And I believe wholeheartedly the change agents we need are being honored in today's ceremony. I'm excited to see the impact that will be made through you and because of you. Congratulations, Rattlers. Ms. Avenue Wisdom, thank you so much for that inspiring message that you shared with us today. The College of Education would like to express our appreciation to you for your encouraging words. At this time, the Educator's Oath and Penny Pledge will be administered by Dr. Ball Thomas. Will all teacher education majors who are being inducted in the Apple Society at Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University, please repeat after me. I, I state your name. I, Jasmine Richardson. Commit oh. myself to the profession of teaching. Commit myself to the profession of teaching. teaching. I promise that everything I do I promise, I promise that, that everything, everything that I do will honor and respect this noble profession. Will honor, honor and respect, and respect this noble, noble profession. profession. I agree to treat each student. I agree, I agree to, to treat each student. student with education. I am charged. Whose education I am charged. Whose education, whose education I am charged, I am charged. with fairness. With, with fairness, 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 
passion and compassion. Passion, passion and, and compassion. compassion. I will work to support. I will work to support. The high ideals of the profession. The high ideals, ideals of the profession. profession. And I shall fulfill. And, and I, I shall, shall fulfill. fulfill. The code of ethical conduct for educators. The code, the code of, ethical of ethical conduct, conduct for educators. educators. In all I say and do. In, In all, all I say, I say and, and do. do. I shall be a credit to this great profession. I shall be, I a, shall credit be a credit to this great, great profession, profession. To which I am joining. To which, to I, which I am joining. joining. Thank you. Now. Will candidates graduating from counseling education, educational leadership, health, phys physical education and fitness, sports management and curriculum and instruction, please repeat after me. I state your name. I, Jamila. Pledge to embody the ideals. Pledge to embody the ideals. The ideals. Of the College of Education's curriculum framework. Of the, of the College, College of Education's curriculum framework. In the areas of professional expertise. In the area of professional, of professional expertise. expertise. Critical inquiry. Critical, critical inquiry. inquiry. Cultural competence. Cultural, cultural competence. competence. And reflective practice. And, and reflective and practice. practice. I shall be a credit to this college. I shall be, I shall be a, a credit, credit to this college. this college. And all I do and say. And, and all, all I, I do, do and or say. say. Thank you. Faculty, please repeat after me. As members of the teaching profession, as, as the members of the teaching, teaching profession, profession, we accept these new members. We accept these new members, members, members with warm hearts, with with warm warm hearts, 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 hearts understanding minds, understanding understanding minds, minds, minds and future support. And future, and future support. support. We have endeavored to prepare them. We, we have, have endeavored to prepare them, them, them to enter our noble profession. Not only with knowledge and pedagogy, not not only only with knowledge and pedagogy, pedagogy but also with love for teaching. We are delighted to welcome you. We are delighted to welcome you. Men of counseling, education, and uh, leadership. Dean Watson. Dean Wassum, and honored on behalf of the faculty and the Department of Educational Leadership and Counseling to present the following candidates for induction into the Apple Society. Department of Educational Leadership and Counseling, Dr. Arnett Moore in Educational Leadership and Counseling Education, Keonia Abrams. Carrie Jeffress, a MS in Counseling Education. Chelsea Crawford, MS in Counseling Education. We will now move to the Department of Elementary Education. Dr. Newell. Dean Watson, I am honored on behalf of the faculty in the Department of Elementary Education to present the following candidates for induction into the Apple Society. Department of Elementary Education. Tatiana Berry, Bachelor of Science. Taylor Brown, Bachelor of Science. Antoinique Ellis, Miss COE, Bachelor of Science. David Grooms, Bachelor of Science. Sienna Horn, Bachelor of Science. Shanila Jarrett, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Brianna Jeffries, Bachelor of Science. Cameron Manning, Bachelor of Science. Stephen Moore, Mr. COE, Bachelor of Science. 
Madeline Nicholson, Bachelor of Science. Kayla Ransom, Bachelor of Science. Jasmine Richardson, Bachelor of Science. Nasa Smith, Bachelor of Science. Arielle Solomon, Bachelor of Science. Alexandria Williams, Alexandra Williams, Bachelor of Science. Jairus Williams, Bachelor of Science. We will now move to the Department of Health and Physical Education and Recreation, co-chaired by Dr. Sarah Price and Dr. Christine Fleming. Dean Watson, I am honored on behalf of faculty in the Department of Health, Physical Education and Recreation to present the following candidates for induction into the Apple Society. Jamisha Cobb, Master of Science Sports Management. Kiana Wiggins, Master of Science Sports Management. Bachelor of Science in Health, Physical Education and Fitness, Marquine Bell, Bachelor of Science. Simona Campbell, Bachelor of Science. Delzume Prince, Bachelor of Science. Jessa Long, Bachelor of Science. Marquise Wallace, Bachelor of Science. Derek Allen, Bachelor of Science. Desiree Weishart, Weishart, excuse me, Bachelor of Science. Keith Heaven II, Bachelor of Science. Jamila Lake, Bachelor of Science. We'll now move to Secondary Education, Technology, Education, and Foundations, chaired by Dr. Pitts Bannister. Dean Watson, I am honored on behalf of the faculty in the Department of Secondary Education, Technology Education, and Foundations to present the following candidates for induction into the Apple Society. Bachelor of Science, Music Education, Matthew James. Lindenell Riskew, Bachelor of Science. Mariah Sanville, Bachelor of Science. Vincent Simon, Bachelor of Science. Armand Smith, Bachelor of Science. Matthew Spindler, Bachelor of Science. Marvin Louis Jean, Bachelor of Science. Mathematics and Chemistry Education, Tamara Fitzgerald. Bachelor of Science. History Education, Bachelor of Science, Aisha Stinson. Masters of Arts in Education, Jared Stevens in Curriculum and Instruction. Tracy Rollins, Master of Arts in Education in Curriculum and Instruction. Colleen Washington, Master of Arts in Education and Curriculum and Instruction. Master of Arts in Education, Curriculum and Instruction, James Wilson, Master of Arts in Education, Music Education. At this time, please allow me to congratulate all of our graduates, as well as give strong accolades to all of our students. To our speaker, Ms. Abney Wisdom, thank you again for your encouraging and inspiring remarks. Also, please allow me to give you a big thank you for our program participants and the Apple Pinning Committee for their efforts. We know that it is difficult to pivot in the midst of COVID-19, but you have done that and you've done it exceptionally well, where we can embark upon a congratulatory journey for our graduates and all of their hard work. The committee members are responsible for planning and executing this program twice every year. We will conclude with the alma mater. Thank you for being a part of today's ceremony. Have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you this evening at commencement.
Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We made it. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Congratulations. 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 Love you, Louis. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.